Assalamu alaikum. Today we will be presenting on situated willingness to communicate in L2 interplay of individual characteristic and context. Hello everyone, my name is Nuna Jovindi Chabraziz and I will be presenting um, the part that I've done in SLA assignment which is cell in theory. So let's get started. First of all, based on the article that being used in the assignment, it can be seen that the authors have used two Salian theories. The authors have used various Salian theories proposed by several linguists to better support their research as well as the credibility of the information collected. In this article, the authors did a research on the willingness to communicate WTC or a group of 21 Japanese university students. They use a pyramid willingness to communicate model. The authors also stated an additional lens to conduct the research which is known as Complex Dynamic System Theory, CDST. According to McIntyre and Associates, the concept of WTC originally developed to address communication behavior in the first language, L1, was applied to and tested in Canadian L2 context. He developed the idea into a heuristic pyramid shape model that presents a systemic view of how various enduring and situated individual variables interact and coverage as WTC in the L2. The model emphasizes the moment of volition that when the readiness to communicate reaches a certain threshold, language use is triggered at a particular time with specific interlocutors. The situated nature of the model, which represents various factors interacting in a complex manner to give rise to communication behavior, foreshadowed recent trends in motivation and language anxiety research. According to Legato's 2011, study used a CDST framework that brought about a new turn in research with its focus on the dynamic moment-to-moment -moment state of WTC, in particular through the use of the ideonomic method developed by these researchers. The laboratory study demonstrated that WTC fluctuated dramatically over the few minutes during which the participants were interviewed about eight pre-selected topics. While each participant exhibited unique reactions to the task, consistent patterns were also observed including a decline in WTC while discussing topics compared to others. That study stimulated a number of recent studies on the dynamic nature of WTC conducted in language classroom. For example, Bernal's 2016, Paulak and Maistakawa, Wittelak 2015, Paulak 2015. In particular, Paula and Maistikawa recorded fluctuations in WTC in pairs every 30 seconds while Bernays focused on learner through plan to be articulated as compared to a third articulation in the classroom. The methods of using pyramid willingness to communicate WTC model and also compact dynamic system theory CDST are already good. However, in my opinion, the Chomsky theory can also be applied to benefit this study even more. In Universal Grammar UG, Chomsky has argued that human language is too complex to be learned from the performance data available to the child. He stated that all of us must have some innate predisposition to expect natural languages to be organized in particular ways and not to the other. For example, all languages have word classes, N, V, and grammar rules that apply to these word classes. UG approach claims that all human beings inherit a universal set of principles and parameters. These principles and parameters control the shape of language and make human language like one another. This theory needs to be factored into the study on the Japanese students. Since they are not 
native English speakers, their structure could be drastically different to what the professor writing the journal is used to. Maybe their WTC is low not because they are not able to communicate. Com- to communicate but their way of thinking. The structure of their sentence is different to a native speaker. Chomsky's method being factored in will greatly benefit the study. The conclusion of my part, the study has already done a good job to monitor the data collected by these 21 Japanese students. Using the Pyramid WTC model and CDST is great but could further be improved if we we factor in Chomsky's theory too. Bye! Mm, Hello everyone, my name is Nian Chong. So, means this to communicate has gradually become a concept used to illustrate Mm, illustrate personal communication in the first language and the second language. This this study is the willingness to communicate a model and a social education model as a framework to study the relationship between second language learning and uh, second language communication uh, variables in the context of Japanese as a foreign language. The model uh, the model has a good uh, has a good adapt uh, to be nurtured to date, which um, indicates the use of willingness to communicate and other constructs to uh, illustrate the potential of second language communication. I will introduce some research um, findings of willingness to communicate. to communicate, um, which really affects the anxiety of communication in indifference and uh, sadness and the uh, main implications of communica- uh, communicative behavior. behavior. Uh, this study in which in this study investigated the effects of second language attitude of uh, attitude or motiv- motivation, um, second language communication, confidence, and uh, international attitude on second language communication. Um, in this case, the application environment of the willingness to communicate, the model and the social education in which uh, education model in uh, is different from the environment in which related research was conducted uh, pre- which the previous uh, besides the linguists, linguistics of us knowledge. Mm, the very apples of language in itself are the very apples, the effect, the emotion and the communication of second language. As Kubo's research shows, when English is considered a knowledge based on related school subjects, the need for achievement, uh, psychological training, and uh, learning satisfaction, uh, satisfaction uh, motivates learning uh, learners, as it does in many other school subjects. Even if uh, this tendency, uh, tendency is recognized as uh, effective uh, when communication becomes an important goal for learning English. It is not surprising that the war of person has an international tendency. The more willing they are 
they are to communicate in English. These people are also learning, also learning English more.、Um, motivation,、uh, which in turn contributes to their、uh, second language communication of English and proficiency and、uh, self confidence. It can be seen from the results、uh, that the exchange of confidence has a strong and、uh, direct impact on the willingness to communicate our second language. There were 21 Japanese first-year university students learning EFL in Japan, involved and planning to study abroad for one academic year as a requirement of the curriculum. While in Japan, these students had limited opportunities to have contact with English speakers or to use English in a natural communication situation outside the school context. After this experiment was carried out on them, the student may have developed certain strategies in the context of WTC or Willingness to communicate, such as distinguish students' anxiety and build their confidence in using the English language, as well as build on the students' knowledge. For example, like Nachi, one of the students involved claimed that she was very nervous at the beginning of the course and wrote about her anxieties in the reflection sheets. Her prior experience with the communication in English was limited. She did not take any turns in the first session and remained quiet throughout the session. Refer- referring to the terminology of WTC pyramid model, the emerging reaction of her might be described as a low state self confidence. At the second session, however, she successfully contributed her opinion. She wrote in the reflection sheet. People talk actively today, which encourage me to speak as well. She she encouraged herself in participating the conversation with a preparation beforehand. So when continuing her studies abroad, she already has the level of confidence that needed in interacting with other people as an L2 learner. Assalamualaikum to doctor. I will be presenting my part in my group that is implication towards the willingness. In communicating in second language, the implication towards the willingness in communicating in second language can improve someone or the learner in the second language.、Uh, it can improve in terms of speaking, listening, and writing in the second language. Uh, making them easier for them to communicate in a sweet in a situation that is in their second language.、Uh, this is because、uh, if someone is willing to communicate in their second language, they have to、um, repeat. In that situation, in order for them to、uh, better understand in the second language, in order to do that, they have to、um, communicate throughout repeatedly in order to improve、uh, the speaking, listening, and also writing. Uh, but they have to be really not anxious about learning the same stuff in order for them to improve.、Uh, the second one is、uh, improving the lack in. Confident towards the second language because sometimes they have the、uh, grasp on the second language, but the、uh, lack of confidence towards the second language making them feel、uh, anxious and nervous. In communicating 
in the second language uh, because personality can have an effect towards the willingness in communicating for example uh, if someone thinks that they are not fluent or might not uh, uh, grammatically say or speak in the second language confidently they tend to be shy and not willing to converse in a communication towards other second language learner um, the third one is that when someone is willing to communicate in their second language they gain a new experience in that situation from communicating to others in the second language when this situation become entirely uh, within their grasp they are more confident in communicating throughout uh, any situation in their second language and they became less uh, nervous anxious when conversing in a communication or discussion in their second language this can make them even more uh, easier for them to communicate in their second language um, if they were to be taught in their second language they will be easier for them because uh, they can learn throughout the situation in class or outside the class uh, I think that's it um, thank you